Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at the math object in JavaScript which allows you to perform, uh, perform mathematical tasks. Now we are going to be looking at a couple of the basic uh, math object methods in order to play around with numbers. Now the first one is uh, random or math.random and what that does is basically gives you a random number between zero, oops, 0 and 1. So let's try that out. Let's create a variable x equals math.random and then just document.write x out and save our work and refresh. There we go, we have a random number which is between 0 and 1 and if I just keep on refreshing it a couple of times it will always be either like 0 0.1 dot 0 0.1 something, 0 0.3 something, 0 0.8 something or 0 0.04 something and so on. It will always be between 0 and 1. Okay, let's delete. Oh, no, not delete. Uh, I'm going to keep on using the variable x because I'm going to always document or write that out. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is called math.round. Now I'll, I'm going to keep on writing this in the comments. So hopefully it's going to be a nice uh, short but useful list of some math methods. Now it uh, rounds the number to the nearest, nearest integer. <coughs> it's basically just some, uh, one of the basic math things that you learn in school. So m bar x equals math round and we're going to input a number inside here say 3.6 or something and let's uh, document.write that out and it's going to return 4 because I th hopefully you already know that if you round uh, a number to the rate integer if it's bigger than 3.5 it's going to go to the next number which in this case is 4 and if it's smaller than 5 say for example 3.3 it's going to cut the anything uh, after the dot and it's going to give you three. <coughs> now similar to math.round but uh, slightly different is another one called math.floor. Now what that does is it's similar to math.random but it's it rounds the number down to the nearest in, uh, down oops let's down to the nearest integer. <coughs> so what that does is let's just change math.random to math.floor and say for example we have 3.6. Now if we used math.round that will give us 4. However, let's change this number so that the output actually changes. Now we have 5.6 and if we use math.round it will give us 6. However, if we use math.floor, it will give us 5. That is because uh, with math.floor, it always just cuts away any number that's after the decimal point. So even if you have 5.9, it will give you uh, 5. Now, by combining math.random and math.floor, we could actually uh, let make the JavaScript output your desired number or desired number in a specific range. For example, uh, let's have let's delete this 5.6 and then inside our math.floor, let's write math.random and then after math.random, let's multiply that res, uh, output by 11. So what we're going to do is we are uh, uh, give, getting a random number between 0 and 1 and then divide the times in by multiplying that by 11 and then we are going to use math.floor to round that number down to the nearest integer. So let's save that and output. What happens now is it's going to give you an uh, integer between 0 and 10 like so. Because we're using math.floor we're not having any of those uh, 0.520013 and those long uh, decimal numbers. So this is really useful when you want to create like a simple, uh, I don't know, like a dice app for with your JavaScript. Although you have to change this, I think, to 7. It's giving 5 to... Oh yeah, you have to get rid of 0. Basically you have to do math.floor and then uh, times that by 6 and math.floor and then I think I had 1 or something. That will get 5, 2, 5, 3, 
yeah I think that works although I haven't checked like I need to output like a hundred results uh, simultaneously using like a loop and make sure that it's working with no like zero and sevens or there yeah like so but it's really fun and useful to use mass.floor mass.random now the last one we are going to be looking at is the square root so the square root method which is math.sqrt short for square root and it's a square root the number so uh, let's say var x equal math.sqrt and say 9 because that, that square roots into a nice integer and there we go we have 3 although technically if you're a mathematician you could argue that it's supposed to be plus minus 3 uh, in this, for this one we are just getting the positive 3 which is okay now let's say 10 because that doesn't give you a solid integer it's going to give you like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, then about 16 uh, digits into the decimal point. So apparently that's one of the closest uh, number you can get to a square root of 10 by default. So that was a quick video on the math object and playing around with some of the uh, math uh, methods. So random. Uh, round, floor, and squirt, and I also uh, used random and or combined random and floor in order to get a random integer between uh, like 0 and 10 or 1 and 6 and so on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.